Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to add static images in the PDF report using the QWeb template engine. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add or let's say how to create QR code or barcode in the PDF report, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the WebLens channel here in the playlist. You can see Odoo development and here different topics, topic wise playlist available with the real task cases. In case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Plus source code also available in the GitHub and we have some different social media pages. Make sure you can follow to get the latest notification and yes, if you don't subscribe this channel, please subscribe this channel. And if you want to support this channel using many ways, buy me coffee, PayPal or using this join button. Let's back to our main topic like how to add static PDF report. So let's say I'm going into the student profile and going into the list view here. Let me select all the record and I'm trying to print this PDF report, right? So barcode is already generated here, right? This is a QR code. This is a custom one. And you, if you scan this using your mobile or scanner, you will get the student's name here. So let's say if you don't know how to generate the QWeb report, like how to add the barcode, the conditional statement, the variable, the looping statement, please check this playlist. Here I already explain everything in a topic wise, right? Once you finish this all topic, then after you will be able to generate a custom report as well as you can extend existing reports easily. So here instead of this QR code, we are trying to add here the static image here in the PDF file. So how we can do that? Let's do. So first I'm going into our custom module, which is this QR PDF report example, right? So here we need some extra images so for that like let me add some like images from the another module so let's say this one let me copy the static folder why because we didn't have any static folder here so let me paste here so you can see here under the static under the description we have this icon.png so right now i will place this icon to here right so how i can do it using the image tag so for that like let me open this existing template right and here let me command this part this line so this line generates a barcode and if you don't know how to generate a barcode please check link is given in the description so here let me add here image tag right so before i will start to add any images so you have to keep in your mind you can add static images as well as dynamic images what is dynamic image we will see in our next session and right now we will focus only about the static images right so for that so here we will use only the image tag so for that like we will use here alt and the src attributes here so once uh, for the alt tag is used once like the uh, image is not properly load right some there is a, some mistake in the code wise or let's say that image is not display in the front end side that time the alt attribute is very helpful so here we can add uh, some meaningful message so user can understand why this specific image file is not loading so let's say image is not loading something like that this is a meaningful message for us at the moment you can add anything based on your requirement all right and here we have to add a static file so static image so that image should be available in the specific path 
so here you have to provide that specific path right if you are using a windows or let's say if you are using the linux or mac os or any different operating system right for server level or for uh, local level so you have to pass here that specific path and make sure the this Odoo service should be accessible that directory and that image otherwise what happened like Odoo throws the permission error right I will not add any hard path so for that like I'm using this static under the static description and this icon this image I will add here so for that like first we have to copy this module name before comma sorry before class we have to add then after pass the module name then after like we have to use static right then after class description and then icon.png so this is our static path for the specific image right and that's it now let's say we have to add also height and width height should be like 50 width should be 50 and let me copy this one and let me upgrade this module using the terminal of this PyCharm and if you don't know how to configure the Odoo service here in the PyCharm start restart and all please check editor level playlist I already explained how to configure let me stop the service let me restart the service with the upgrade this module now I'm going to in front end side select all the records and I'm trying to print this report. Now you can see instead of this barcode, you can see now it display with the static image. Right? So this is the first way you can add here the static images. Another way is the URL. Let's say let me go to images and yeah let's say this one the heart let me open in the new tab all right so this is a base 64 image right so first we will leave as it is we will not touch that part let me open this one all right so this is also the same one let me open this one Alright, so this is also not compatible here. So yeah, so you can see we have some extensions on PNG or let's say the JPEG or GIF, right? So first we will copy this URL and here I am simply try to paste this part and let me add this attribute as it is let me comment this line so here what happened like we have this image this is the image in the jpg format and this is available in the server in this server right in this dictionary this is a dictionary and then after this is the file name right so this can be also possible to display this image in a pdf report so let me upgrade the module and let me select this all the records and i'm trying to print this report oh sorry not this one this one so you can see here it's possible to execute the static images it should be accessible by the Odoo service right so that's it and it will display these images let's say some somehow having some mistake here in the image file right and I'm trying to upgrade this module now you can see here so it's not displayed right so you have to make sure like whenever you pass here the specific image the static file or path right so you have to make sure like your spelling should be the correct otherwise it won't be print correctly so this is the second way right 
and what about the third way let's say this is the third way here here you can see this is the base 64 code right so let me copy this code and Odoo also allow right to display the base 64 code in the PDF to print this image into the PDF file simple here we can pass here this best 64 card that's it and I'm trying to restart the service and upgrade the module and I'm trying to print this report now you can see this image is displayed like this way so this is the original image it's displayed here in the PDF file right so like this way you can add static images in the PDF file if you have any doubt related this session please comment below and see you in next session and our next session should be how to add dynamic images in the PDF report so see you in next session